Okay, so this will be my phase 4 Karapak solo hard mode guide. We'll be talking through what my rotations will be and what I normally do during this phase. So just before I phase into the last phase, 50k HP, we will always have time that's ready as well as death swiftness. Make sure that you're always high adrenaline. So before you phase, it's okay to be low HP because once you enter the clone, you automatically heal you back to full health. So normally I'll just DPS quickly. Make sure that Death Swiftness is ready when phase 4 starts. Okay, this part. So once the clone spawns, you need to immediately go into the clone. Make sure to move your Death Swiftness to this area. Because what you don't have to target cycle either, it's automatically targeted for you. Put on your rubies, make sure you get a few chances of your autos to prop a ruby. Go to the center of these two areas. Drop a DS. Once you have dropped the DS, uh, make sure the time lapse before you drop the DS. After the DS, you need to quickly enter the furthest clone away, which is all the way at the southeast side. And then you have to quickly bit pot. Make sure that the bit pot is before the time lapse timer, or else you will not get the full heal back. So once you go back to your old clone, the new clone will be at 20k health, which will last will give you more time to kill off the first two echoes. So once the bit pot ends and your time lapse ends as well, you'll be healed back to full health, which is that, which will give you more time to DPS the echoes. Try to so split stick as well if you can. So this part I like to do a dark bow and a high adrenaline to get it down. You can also throw a bomb bomb if you need to. So normally when I dark bow, I like to get the onyx bolts on so I can get the extra health. After killing the first clone, quickly get on the second clone. Normally I like when it's high health, I'll put on my rubies to get to try for the ruby proc. And once it's low health, 50k ish, I'll put on onyx or hydrix depending on my adrenaline. So this part, once I have enough adrenaline for a dark bow, get a dark bow ready. So this area is where you should a pot to get because the next part you'll be using reflect. In this case, because my adrenaline is pretty high, I don't need to a pot. I use reflect into resonance first. This allows me to get a few autos off in my rubies. This quiver is with my rubies. Quickly build to hundred percent with your reflect on. You'll still be okay on HP. Quickly get a time lapse into a death swiftness. This is where I use Sigil Devo when I'm low health and I'll do rapid fire. And then because you still have a 3 seconds Devo, once you kill it, you get an extension of 5 seconds. So, yep, so this phase you just DPS and DPS. Because I timed that's my devotion, I will still have an extra devotion for this part of the phase. This gives me more time to DPS with a free devotion. So normally this part is where you don't really need to use a lot of food because you can just rotate your defensives, debut, debitilate and devotion. And yeah, that's a no food phase 4. If you get the rotations right, uh, you don't really need to use much food. In this case, I still have an A pot ready, which I saved because I didn't need adrenaline. But yeah, you, in, if you don't really have hydrics to spare, you might need to rely on the A pot for this rotation.